Hey, how's it going? So, I got a lot of messages asking me about the Steam achievement called Lost and Flounder. Well, if you're one of those people that have been asking about the Steam achievement Lost and Flounder, then you're in luck, because today we're going to go over the map that was released on the community discord uh, for the angler, and I was lucky enough to get permission to use it for this video, so we will be showing that in the video a little bit later on. Also, before we just jump into the video, I'd like to mention that I do not have this achievement myself personally. I have over 200 hours played in the game, and I have yet to get it. I haven't even really tried to get it. Uh, it's a fishing game, so I don't really see the point to doing these type of non-fishing related activities aside from helping out the community and trying to, you know, progress them in their gameplay and what they'd like to see and do. Uh, that's the only reason that we're doing a video for this. Otherwise, I normally just stick to the fishing. Unless it's not a fishing game, then that's a little bit different. But this is a fishing game. I don't really see the point of having achievements outside of the fishing. Other than, like, you know, the climb the mountain one. But the collection stuff and all this is too much like GTA if I... You know what I mean? So, but anyways, a lot of you did request this video. So, here it is. Okay, so you've decided that you have countless hours to travel around the map, crashing into every single tree stump and rock there is in signpost because the steering and view is just terrible from the vehicles. Then this achievement is perfect for you. I mean, hit and run Simpsons from 2003 has better driving. Well, in any case, you're in luck. A member of the Angler community posted this map with every collection item on it. Note that this map is missing two markers, which I will put in the description down below. Make sure you check that out so you can can actually get the achievement uh, I'm not sure why he left out the two maybe he just forgot to put them in there etc I don't know um, so yeah I'll put those in the description below make sure you get those also uh, once you've completed the tutorial mission uh, and speak to the warden he'll give you a quest called the golden tour I suggest doing this before you start your collection achievement grind as this will unlock all the fast travel locations and you'll be able to travel around each point on the map quickly and be able to collect everything uh doing this quest also gives you credits and xp which will allow you to buy gear to fish with later on once you finish your collection quest if you decide to go on that route now there is no specific order to do the collection you could say do the collection as soon as you start the game without doing any of the quests and just get the achievement if that's what you want to do but it's a fishing game so i would assume that you're playing the game to get fish and not achievements so yeah also real quick i just want to take a second to uh, mention don't forget to subscribe to the channel also like this video super easy super simple and it really helps the channel grow a lot it helps the youtube algorithm really appreciate all the support and then uh comments and feedback that i've gotten from the channel i uh, really appreciate you guys all right let's get back to the video okay so this is the map the only place it has been posted publicly is the angler discord so i'll leave it on the screen for a moment uh so you can either screenshot it or you can just leave it up on the second monitor or something while you do your grind to, for the collection achievement uh you might ask what the point of getting this steam achievement is i'd say the point is that only 0.01 percent of players who've played the game actually have gotten it uh that doesn't include myself i've not gotten this achievement as i said before uh, there was well over 10,000 players, so, I mean, you can do the math. That's, that's you know, pretty achieved, if I would say myself. Uh, so, you, could, you know, it's just something to feel good about. Uh, me, personally, I would never try to get a Steam achievement for any game. Uh, it's either I get them or I just don't. I'm not going to target Steam achievements. It's not really a goal of mine. Uh, if they gave you extra stuff like Steam Cash or something useful besides the achievement badge, maybe I'd consider doing them. But as for now, it's just, you know, a badge reward, whoop de doo don't care. Uh, but a lot of you seem to care about it, so, I mean, good luck to you guys who are, are doing your grind. Uh, I'm only missing, like, two or three of the thingies that you need for the achievement, but it's just, I didn't go into any set order or mark down on my map which ones I've gotten, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. so I'm not going to go back through and figure out which three I'm missing just to get the achievement, like... Like I said, it's not important to me. It's it's a, it's really a non-issue. Uh, but you know, as requested by the angler community who wanted to get the hundred percent complete in the uh, achievements, uh, I hope this helps you out, and I hope you guys get your achievement quick and easy.
Yeah, I just wanted to say I really appreciate P73. That's the guy on Discord who hooked us up with this map. P73S is his name on the Angler Discord. Uh, so if you want to contact him directly, I guess feel free. He didn't, you know, he didn't say uh, not to, and he was glad to be helping out people. So that's good. Um, it's nice to see the community is uh, friendly and helpful with it, with everything. I've been in a lot of toxic communities where the community was not helpful at all. <laughs> so it's nice to see that for a change, uh, where the community is actually, you know, helpful and trying to work together and figure these things out. So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.